Mm-hmm. Crazy episode. Crazy two episodes. Um, talking about only the last episode. Crazy. I mean, okay, a lot of stuff happened already in episode five, but now this, uh, well, n not a lot actually happened, but a lot of reveals, a lot of crazy reveals. The craziest one for me being that you can, people can play with people's memories, which is always uh, somehow uh, unfair. I don't know, not unfair, but you start to trust the story less because now everything could be, everything could be fake. Everything we know about this world could be fake. Anything, anything and everything. We don't know how much about the Attack on Titan is real right now. Maybe the story is completely different and now they're gonna make a big turn. But they seem like um, the public mass also seems to have altered memory because like I said during the episode, since episode now one, we don't we didn't know where the walls came from, where the how the cities, you know, even the people who were living couldn't know. So maybe everybody saw that there were walls inside the Titans. Maybe the walls made were made out of Titans, and they make the they made the public forgot forget. So the royal family has secrets. I find it also really interesting how he... I mean, the whole story, okay, the whole backstory with Aaron's father. Aaron's, Aaron ate his father. His father ate the oldest daughter of the royal family who had the scream ability. Again, a lot of questions because... Yeah. A lot of questions. First of all, how did Aaron's father even know about them? How did he attack them? Why did he attack them? Uh, but the biggest question, where I was also like, wait, what a moment. What? Wait, wait a moment. During the reaction was when the historian's father just was like, yeah, everybody escaped. Uh, no, I, I escaped the attack. Everybody died. Uh, I was lucky I escaped. Seems a little bit fishy to me, to be honest. I do not think that you can just escape luckily from a titan in a basement. I don't know how that works. And if Eren's father was especially attacking, it looked like Eren's father was kind of evil, maybe an evil assassin, and we don't know. But it looked like he was especially attacking the royal family. Why would he let somebody escape in a basement as a titan? So maybe this guy is also the Titan ability. Maybe he fought back. Maybe he's not telling the real story. He's kind of... I mean, it is true what he's telling. He's not lying, but he's... Uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. He's kind of... Uh, building around the story. Uh, and... In a way that it fits his... Uh, narrative. In a way that fits his interests. I try to explain that with my English as best as I can. I, I know there's a word for it in German and Turkish, but, you know, I'm not a mother speaker in English, so I don't know. You know what I mean. He tries to make it fit his story. So maybe he's telling bullshit. I mean, not maybe. I'm I'm telling you he's telling bullshit. Very interesting, um, by the way, his connection to Kenny Ackerman, because we learn out that Ackerman was a royal f uh, family bodyguard family. So this gives uh, Kenny's character a whole different, you know, aspect because he's actually just he looks like in the first first uh, at the first glance he looks like a douche who's just after money, maybe just doing everything he does because of money, because of something I don't know, stupid, you know. But no, he does be so because he believes believes in his duty to the king. And he thinks, okay, I'm a man, I have my family has to serve the king and he wants to serve the thing, king even though he's not like he got annoyed at the king we saw it but he couldn't say anything because he was too bright maybe because he thinks he has to protect the royal family 
gives his character a lot more, a whole different aspect and a lot more pride, if you know what I mean, what I'm talking about. Also that he's so crazy that he's trying. The fact that everybody has, I don't know, everything is turning kind of supernatural, you know. Now the Ackerman family has also this kind of power where they, where they feel sudden urges of power just, you know. Mikasa tells us that she's felt something like this before in her childhood when she saved Eren. I don't know. Now we should have we should go back to the uh, first episode and watch the flashback, right? Because I don't know if we could uh, see that in there. But the Ackerman family has a crazy kind of power. Levi felt it also a few times. He still didn't drop his name. Uh, also asked during the reaction, does Mikasa know his last name do they know about each other because he's in the military right they should know their colleagues last names i would guess i don't know uh, what did i want to say also kenny about kenny is just really cool uh his whole army just his whole character screams chaos okay he's the like chaotic part of the story which is really i like it I like, like, I mean, I like the chaotic part of the story. Every time something happens where we didn't think about where the whole audience, that nobody in that world and also nobody in the audience could predict, just something crazy, random, chaotic. That's where I'm going like, yeah, I love this. And in every narrative, that's, I feel like, a re really important part. So anyway, he comes in, uh, scared as fuck. I love him and his army is crazy they are especially made for killing people and yeah his commander woman who looked like Annie's mom uh, gave a really cruel sp speech gave a really cool speech uh, showing that these people really believe in Kenny I feel like I'm talking very very slow right now so excuse me if I am I don't know anymore I really don't. I'm, there's so much shit you could talk about. But I don't know if you guys like this. If I drag. Sometimes I feel like I drag on my thoughts for very long and long, long time. So I'm just gonna end this review here. This is the video that you're gonna see on YouTube, I guess. Mm, yeah. Link in the description. Go watch my reactions if you haven't. If you're just here to hear my thoughts. Crazy episode, crazy episodes, crazy truths, 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 we found out today. Uh, yeah. Like I said, there's a lot more to talk about, but I cannot even think of it. Half of the stuff that was uh, foreshadowed since the beginning of the story. So just write me, write me your comments. Let's talk about uh, this stuff in the comments. Please, no spoiling. Um, love you all.